Hey everybody, it's National Preparedness Month, and as a result, a lot of us preppers are doing a collaboration on 30 Days of Preparedness. Well, here's my video for today. These are my car emergency supplies. Alright everybody, welcome back. So, today is my day for my video, and the video I'm doing today is what I keep in my car for emergency supplies. Now, granted, I'm a prepper, hardcore, I keep a ton of stuff in my vehicle. You may not want to keep this much stuff in your vehicle, I understand that, <laughs> but this is just some ideas. I mean, maybe you want to start a little smaller kit. Um, one thing that is very important, especially out here in the desert, is to make sure that you rotate everything. It gets up to 140, 150 degrees in that car if it's parked outside in the sun. So every six months I go through my bags, and you see those bags there, and they're all different stuff in them, and I rotate out the stuff that might get stale or old. Now, i got to say, I used to keep MREs in here. Um, I never had one go bad. Matter of fact, I did a video on eating one that was in my car for two years, through two seasons, you know, through two rotation of seasons, and it never went bad. So, maybe I've been lucky, but now I keep freeze-dried meals in here. Um, I'm, I haven't put any freeze-dried wholesaler stuff in here, uh, but just, you know, freeze-dried uh, pre-packaged stuff. And uh, we'll get into the stoves and all that, but the first thing I want to do is show you what I keep in other areas of the vehicle, and that's this stuff down here. So let's move up closer, and let's take a look. All right, so this is stuff that's stored in other places in my vehicle, um, not in the back, maybe in the center console, stuff like that. As a matter of fact, these uh, little electronic flares are stored behind, let me move this over here, stored behind my uh, fire extinguisher, which is mounted in there. So I did review on these, I'm sure you guys have seen it. Um, you just do a bunch of different flashing and stuff. I did just go through and rotate the batteries in them. I'm going to clear the, clear it out. It goes through all the modes. I did just rotate all the batteries in them. Wanted to make sure they were all fresh. But uh, all in all, these have been awesome. There are four in here. And I believe a while back I did a video on this. Garage Monkey Engineering. These are these uh, basically flameless flares. Um, out in here in the heat, I just, I don't know, I just don't like keeping stuff that's super flammable in the back of my vehicle. So, and these do have hooks on them, and they are magnetic as well, so if I want to hook this to something or put it on a magnet on the car side of the car, it will work like that. So that's the first thing. The second thing, you may you may not wish to have this. I found this to be invaluable when there's large traffic jams out here, um, and when there's events going on in town, and that's a set of binoculars. Now, I did review these a couple months ago. These are the Power Bear, I believe they're 12 by 25 binoculars. And as a matter of fact, I just recently used them. We did our uh, Harvest Day Festival Parade. And I did recently use these uh, to see the parade coming down the route, where I was, about how far it's out. So they are very, very handy. Um, and they're not expensive. I wouldn't recommend a super expensive pair for your car. If it gets stolen, you know, you really don't want to be out that money. And something like this, I believe these were like in the $20 range. Not really expensive. All right, next up. I keep this one in here. This is my Olight. And this one has a little end on the end here so you can direct, direct traffic. This is the Olight Frayer. It does have a bunch of different color modes, and the color modes will not melt this. Um, so you can see. Got a nice red baton, you know, white, whatever. Um, I like it. I like the fact that it's a very bright flashlight. It does have a proximity sensor on it, too, so if it gets too close, it won't burn. Um, I am going to top this off and charge it now that I have it out. This is the only thing I haven't charged up. Uh, I keep this right by my driver's side uh, over there in my uh, little side console. So if I ever need it in an emergency, it pops right out and I have it right there. Next up, another flashlight you'll notice here, and my first aid kit. Now this is a different first aid kit than I showed a couple days ago. Let me roll it out here quickly for you. Everything is right here. I've got my tourniquets, all of my uh, quick clot stuff, uh, sponges, everything you can think of. Uh, even a little bit of duct tape, a little bit of crazy glue, um, all sorts of stuff in there. I actually even have some quarters here. I got laughed at for having quarters the last time because we were like, well, where's their payphone? Well, amazingly enough, there are a few left in Vegas. So if I'm in Vegas for the day and I need to make a phone call and my cell phone's down and there is an emergency, I can do it. Um, so I got my tourniquet, a bunch of band-aids, all the usual stuff. It's basically a smaller kit, and this does need to be rotated often. You'll need to go in here and clean out the stuff, make sure you know everything's okay, get rid of the old stuff, because, let's face it again, very, very hot out here. Now, if you live somewhere else where it's cold all the time, that could be just as damaging to your stuff. 
Okay, last up, I do keep a single shot shotgun in here, mainly for wildlife, if I have to dispatch an animal in an emergency. Uh, it also does help with protection. I basically got it for free. We're not going to show it because then YouTube will cut my video. But I do keep extra things for it over on the side there. Again, not a ton, just enough to say get me out of an emergency situation if there's a, uh, a wild animal, if I'm stuck on the side of the road. Um, out here, when you drive in Nevada, it really is like the uh, the Roadrunner cartoons. I mean, there is there are areas where there is nothing for miles, you know. So it is handy to have something in case of emergency. Let's just put it like that. All right, let me clean up all this stuff, and we'll start with the green bag in the corner there. All right, now aside from a couple other tools, this is the main tool bag that I have in the vehicle. I do have more tools over on the side where I showed you where my fire extinguisher was. Um, this is just a tool bag, and also I have a uh, homemade kind of setup tent. And you can see this video. Um, I took a, a poncho shelter, a poncho thing, a rain poncho, military rain poncho, cut down cables to uh, make it into a tent. So I will put that link down below um, in the comments because I know you guys are going to want to see that. I just basically put some duct tape, uh, duct tape. <laughs> I basically put some uh, paracord around it to seal it up. Um, I have the right size thing here. And inside I have a mat, a floor mat. Now, this isn't going to give you a ton of room, but believe it or not, this really works well, and it will make a nice shelter if you're stuck on the side of the road in the rain, whatever, if your vehicle is uninhabitable for some reason. You always want to stay with your vehicle first, but we've seen situations where guys doing overlanding, their vehicles have caught on fire. So at least you got a bag you can grab out and have yourself a shelter. I do have a pillow for that, a little camp pillow, and a little camp mattress. This is a little tiny air mattress. So, if I have to sleep, at least I can sleep in somewhat comfort. Um, I keep uh, my saw in here. My knife is in a different bag, but I keep my saw in here. Never know when you'll need it. A few extra possible items. <laughs> we won't say that. Uh, I do keep a couple bungees. I have more bungees in that brown bag, but I keep a couple bungees are handy. Um, again, jumper cables. I do have jumper cables, and I will be putting in a battery jump type pack for the car. I have to review it first. That, that review is coming pretty soon. But I will be putting that in as well. I feel those are very, very important, very handy. Not only can you help somebody else out, but you can help yourself out too if you need a jump. Okay, keep some duct tape. Fix the flat. Very handy and also rotate this. I take one out every year, put a new one in. I'd rather throw it away and it be ready when I need it than mess around with it and, well, I hope it works today. I'm kind of stuck on the side of the road with two flat tires. Very handy to have, can't hurt. Um, this red light here, this is also magnetic. Handy for kind of letting people know you're on the side of the road stuck maybe. Has a bunch of different modes. And this terry cloth towel. Okay. And right here, just some very, very basic tools. Like I said, I had better tools over in the side pocket. But for now, these are just basic tools for small fixes. Nothing major, you know, just a simple way to fix things up. So, that's the first bag. It's mainly a tool bag along with the shelter. And I will remember to link this in the first comment down below. I'm not going to put it in the description because the description is going to have everybody's channels in it. I will put this in the first comment. I think this is an awesome idea. I mean, the, the poncho was like, the rain poncho was like $13. Bought myself some bungee cords and some, uh, some shock cord and some uh, poles. Put it together. It's really easy to put together and uh, got the right size, right measurement. It came out really, really cool. So, I will link that. Anyway, let's move to the black bag. Well, I've officially misspoke. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, I thought I had changed out all of my MREs. I just did this like four months ago. I thought I'd changed out all of my MREs uh, for freeze-dried meals. I have not. I put two in. So, I have this Peak Refuel. And I do have another one of these to review. This is really, really good. This chicken coconut curry. I have this beef stroganoff with noodles, and I do have four MREs. Those were put in four months ago, so I know they're okay, but I was just like, wow. I opened it up, and I was like, oops, I misspoke. <laughs> I do remember now when I did, I believe I did the video a while back, um, but I also just rotated it, and I do remember now that, yeah, I put those in there. My fault. Okay, next up, we have a Sterno stove here with a couple extra Sterno green canisters. Very, very handy. Uh, allows me to store cooking fuel in there with out a ton of super hot volatile stuff. Yes, it can burn, but it's not like putting propane bottles in there or something. It's a little safer. A bunch of silverware. 
mainly out of MREs previous. Bunch of sides. I got side coffees and Propel and ketchup and salt and everything. Um, these are brand new. I just put these in here. And, of course, good old light sticks. These are very, very handy. This is an interesting little item here. This is a big magnetic base on the bottom. And it will pretty much stick to anything. And you just kind of screw your light stick into it. And uh, you're ready to go. So, very handy. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to slowly change over to freeze-dried meals. I can't believe that. I was like, I thought I put them all in there as freeze-dried meals. But I didn't. I removed two MREs, put two of these in here. I also have a bottle of water in here. Um, this is just a beater bottle I got and coated with some green paint, you know, just to put a little extra water in there. We do have a two and a half gallon thing here. I'm going to be upgrading that to a five gallon one eventually, but we'll get into that in a sec. So let me pack all this away and we move on to the very last bag. All right, now we move on to the last bag and I'm still sitting here going, I can't believe I told them I switched to all freeze dried food when I had it. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're moving on to the last bag here. Again, there's a little more tools in here, a more extensive first aid kit. Let me show you quickly what I have. First of all, batteries. These batteries get changed out every six months, no matter what. I'll use the other ones up in my house because the heat isn't good for them. Uh, these, I have some good ones and some cheap dollar store ones. And uh, that's for my headlamp. Okay, My headlamp is over here. It's just a cheapy little Energizer headlamp. This thing works great. This is actually the first headlamp. When I tell that story of I never believed in headlamps till there was a power outage, this is the first one that I used. And I got hooked on it, and I've had it ever since. I put a little duct tape there because it was sticky. Um, other than that, love it. You know, and if, if I lose it, who cares? It, it was dirt cheap. All right, a couple more bungees, like I said. A little more cordage. Um, this isn't for pulling you out of a dirt or mud or anything. This is more for setting up a shelter, maybe with a tarp or whatever. And I do have a... So, that compass actually works. A uh, compass, whistle, and a um, little... Uh, thermometer. It looks like there's something else in here. Yep. But I can't get it out. I believe it's a, uh, a, a magnifying glass for starting fires. But really, I had this for the whistle. That's the main point of this. I got this free. It's just for the whistle. So if there's an emergency, I can whistle and you know call for help that way. I do have a reflective emergency tarp here. Again, I have another one for my shelter in there. But this is orange. So if I need to be rescued, I have that option. I do have another thing of water here in a military... Uh, canteen and water purification as well as water purification tablets all set up in there ready to go i do have some gloves in case it's cold uh, these aren't work gloves these are more just to protect my hands an extra rag uh, these always come in handy when your hands are dirty uh, easy to have a little extra thing in there to wash up uh, it looks kind of nasty and dirty but it really isn't i just washed it um, so we got those over here, an AM FM shortwave radio. I don't keep batteries in this because I don't want them to go bad. Uh, so that's why I keep it out of there. But this is a neat little Texan world receiver. It gives me AM FM and shortwave. Now, yes, I have a ham radio in the car. I have um, an AM FM radio in the car. But again, what happens if the battery's dead and I'm on the side of the road or if there's an electrical problem? So I have that right there. Uh, I do keep N95 masks in here. I've kept N95 masks in my prepper gear for years and people think I was some kind of psychic when I did a video showing them. <laughs> I just keep them in there for um, smoke, dust, that kind of stuff. Never kept them in there for any kind of pandemic, but it is handy to have them just in case you forget yours and there's a place that requires it. Um, but yeah, so having these in here, um, ever since 9-11 when people were paying $50 each for one of these, trying to get away from the debris and stuff that was falling, I always keep a couple in here for emergency sake. I do keep two knives in here. Now, this is the Green River, kind of a bushcraft knife. It's a fish knife, they call it. Um, I love this thing. It's, I think it was like 15 bucks. Super cheap. I did put a little bit of bluing on it, a little cold bluing, um, just to protect it. It is, you know, high-carbon steel, so I wanted to protect it a little bit. And I do have a little bit of oil on it, and that's still oiled up from the last time I put it away. Razor sharp, really nice cutting knife, nice bushcraft knife. And I do have a sharpening stone. Get in there. Very rudimentary, very basic. Could probably do better with a rock on the side of the road, but at least it'll give me something to sharpen it up with. And I do keep a cheap kind of beater knife here. This was one that, um, another one that I bought from that uh, yard sale. This is Beaver Creek. I think they're all made in China. Um, I did scallop out the handles a little bit, so it fits my hand a little better. I like the profile of the knife, and it's good to have a second one in case one breaks or whatever. 
And again, if I lose it, who cares? I'm not out any kind of money here. This was like a $5 knife. So that's pretty much it. Now, the water over here is a two and a half gallon jug. I forget who I got this from. I got it from a military surplus store here in town. Um, I do plan on putting a five gallon jug in there. I need to uh, get myself one of those nice scepter five gallon jug cans and um, get it set up. I did forget two things here. I do have one of those. This has actually been tested. One of those uh, little bit of everything shovel kits in case I have to dig myself out of an emergency situation. It does have handles that go all the way up. Um, you know, so it's a full size shovel. Not one of those little teensy tiny ones. Um, and it does have a very sharp edge on the shovel itself. It does have a rock breaker on the end there. I believe it's got a ferro rod in it as well. Handy little thing. I mean, you know, again, the only reason I have this in here is because it was sent to me for review. I reviewed it and said, you know what? That couldn't hurt to have in there. If you can get a cheapie, it's good. You know, if you get stuck in mud, if you get stuck in snow, you can dig yourself out a little bit. Um, not to mention you can dig a whole lot of stuff if you get stuck on the side of the road, the color fire pit, whatever. And I do have a little bit more extensive first aid kit in here. And this does get gone through every six months, like I say. Um, you know, I got chest seals, all sorts of stuff in there. This is a bit more extensive. It has a quick clot sponges, all that. And I do go through and I do pick up what I need um, to rotate out or anything that's expired. I also have some of my everyday meds like, you know, Tylenol, stuff like that in there. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to pack this bag up. And we'll wrap it all up And there you. you go. Everything's packed back inside. Now, some people may see this and go, that's a ridiculous amount of stuff to keep in your vehicle. Some people may see this and go, that's not even half enough. You need tons more stuff. I understand that. This is what's right for me and this size vehicle. Um, for me, it just it works. That's what I have in there, you know. And I know that if I get stuck somewhere, we do have, again, know your terrain. Know where you live. We have where we are. One way into Vegas, pretty much. Yes, there's a back way, but people don't normally go that way. And there's no easy way to get to it when you're three-quarters of the way to Vegas and there's a trouble on the hill. We have a big mountain that we go over. Um, that's why a lot of people say over the hump to Pahrump, because we have a big mountain that we go over. If there's an accident on top of that mountain, you would literally have to turn around, drive about, oh, I don't know, 60 miles back. Well, let's say 40 miles back. And then another 70 miles around to get back into Vegas. So, I mean, this stuff is just for everyday emergencies, you know, just going on your way and, you know, maybe the pass gets shut down because of snow. Um, if that's the case and they pull you over and they won't let you move, well, hey, I got food, water, shelter. I'm doing pretty good. I got blankets. I also have blankets underneath the back seat as well. Um, just a couple of wool blankets, a couple of old military surplus wool blankets under there. I do have a sleeping bag under there. Um, which would come in handy should I need it. It's one of those super compact kind of three season, you know, ones. But inside my car with that and a, a blanket over me, I should be just fine. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will put links down below to the playlist for all of the videos that everyone has done so far. We are almost done with the month. Um, I got the 27th, so <laughs> this is my video for today. So don't forget to check out the playlist and all the channels down below in the description that will be participating in this. Um, I think we have a couple more days to go. So make sure you bookmark the playlist and you can keep up with our 30 days of preparedness collaboration. Remember, September is, or almost was, National Preparedness Month. It's a good month to get yourself stocked up. One of the things I like to do is go through my stuff that I don't go through often in September. Kind of as a reminder, because it's National Preparedness Month, and refill and check everything out. I did this about four months ago, so I know this stuff is good. Um, after the winter, I pull everything out again. I go through it. I rotate out the food, and I'm probably going to be putting a lot more freeze-dried entrees in there. I'm still laughing at myself. For saying, yeah, I changed it all out to freeze-dried. Whoops, no, there's nothing but MREs. Um, I have shown MREs last a good long time in the car. Uh, we had that one that was the uh, pasta and meatballs or something that was, I don't know, it was like two years old in a hot car. And uh, if you search for a two-year-old MRE in a hot car, you'll find that video. And I had no problems with it whatsoever. And, you know, ate the whole thing, no, no sickness, no botulism, nothing like that. So they do hold up pretty well. Um, but I, you do want fresh rotating stuff because you don't want to run into a situation where you are stuck on the side of the road, you are starving, and there's nothing but rotten food in your bags. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check all the links down below. Don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link down there as well if you want to stock up on some freeze-dried food. Our My Patriot Supply link, which is preparewithiridium.com. Preparewithiridium.com. That site has been getting tons of orders this month. So uh, make sure you get your orders in quick. Also, too, don't forget, freeze-dried wholesalers. If you click that link, you save 15%. Now, he did have to raise his prices a little bit, 
So you're going to be saving that if you click that link. And uh, saving that plus a little bit. Um, so make sure you check that out. And don't forget our Amazon affiliate store. Most of the gear I review, I stick in that store so you guys can check it out if you're interested in picking it up. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. I hope you have a great rest of September. Stay safe and stay prepared.